So the world we live in and the young people we teach are dynamic. Um, in school settings, we focus our attention oftentimes on school-based literacy practices. We focus on discrete skills such as decoding, phonics, fluency, vocabulary, background knowledge uh, as tools for literacy and, co and comprehension. And I don't deny that the importance and utility of those skills and those distinctions um, because people who read proficiently draw upon those skills automatically and must be taught and have time to practice in order to learn those skills. And yet the 21st century technologies are redefining the skills that students need in the world. Web-based technologies, for example, challenge traditional skills such as left to right and top to bottom processing of text. And they're nearly always characterized by hyperlinks that draw readers into deeper and more specialized content, not in the linear, linear way of uh, printed texts. So for nearly a decade, um, many researchers have been saying that traditional paradigms of literacy need to accommodate these new texts. The earlier slide I cited uh, work of um, Donna Alverman and others who, who make this claim. Uh, and as we'll be reminded in a moment, the common core standards are actually also an attempt to acknowledge these new textual landscapes. As Thomas Earl, who is uh, past president of the National Commission on Teaching and America's Future, points out, learning is no longer preparation for the job. It is the job. In a world in which information expands exponentially, today students must learn to be knowledgeable navigators, seeking and finding information from multiple sources, evaluating it, making sense of it, understanding how to turn information into knowledge and knowledge into action. So what does it mean to be college and career ready? Well, I mean, a number of people have uh, weighed in on this. Um, our knowledge um, in the 21st century economy, in this global economy we live in, demands a different kind of preparation than has historically been available to students. Um, some folks are uh, calling this deeper learning, a, coin, a term that was coined by the William and Flora Hewlett Foundation, I think, around 2010. And this set of educational outcomes includes six interrelated core competencies, mastery of academic content, development of critical thinking and problem solving, the ability to work collaboratively, effective oral and written communication, learning how to learn, and developing and maintaining an academic mindset. The three um, buckets that you see, the cognitive, interpersonal, uh, and intra intrapersonal and interpersonal, are the three buckets that the National Research Council came up with. But the, the work of the Hewlett Foundation actually maps pretty nicely um, on, onto the, the, these three buckets of work here. And the Common Core State Standards represent another parallel effort to define the skills students require for success in the 21st century. I selected this particular excerpt from the Common Core Anchor Standards, which uh, describe broad standards uh, and define the skills and understandings that all students must demonstrate. Note here the importance of evaluating content, understanding the role of diverse media, and the multiple genres uh, that students must read and produce, including analysis, reflection, research, and the like. All of these things have major implications, not only for the way teaching and learning is structured in K-12 classrooms, but also for the way we prepare and support ongoing learning and development for teachers. 